Hey guys, Orga Gaming here, back again with another MTG Arena video, and tonight we're going to be doing Selesnia Enchantment. So we saw a piece of this as I was going through my Mono Green Devotion deck with the power that I felt that the uh, the Sestinian Champion has, and when you start adding more enchantments from other colors, he gets all the more powerful. Now that's not the only basis behind it, but it's definitely a hard part for it, uh, a hard point for it. So anyway, let's kind of go into the deck and take a look and see what we've got. So I wanted to take advantage of... Um, um, enchantment creatures because it never really dawned on me whenever I was doing that original deck that oh wow there's a bunch of enchantment creatures that I could use to really use this power so let's get into some of the stuff that we added from white so the uh, Aceliad of the of life's bounty one one it is in of course an enchantment creature which is where it comes in um, it does kind of play a role it's a one one life linker and you can sacrifice it to basically give it protection from a color of your choice for a turn so it's mostly there for the early game and then you can pop it to save save your your champion we're going to add a couple of other things that are also uh, relevant to you know, the number of enchantments you have in play. Kamatra's, or, hmm, Kamatra's Blessing is a one casting cost instant. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. And if it's an enchanted creature or an enchantment creature, it also gains hexproof and indestructible. These are another uh, other methods in which you can use to... Uh, protect your champion uh sentinel eyes really cool it is a one one uh, aura counts as an enchantment uh plus one plus one and grants vigilance and then you can escape it and escape it from your graver and so you can, if you do happen to lose your creature you can then gain this back all the glitters another one that gives plus one plus one for each artifact and or enchantment that you control since the whole deck is built around enchantments this can get really big really quick the Destiny Spinner, of course, is an enchantment creature for 2-3 for 2 uh, creatures, and enchantment spells you control can't be countered. And you can target land becomes plus X plus X uh, elemental creature with trample and hasten to turn where X is the number of enchantments you control. It is still a land. We are still going to go on. These are some of the stuff we've seen before. Seasons of the Rose is going to stay in. Sustenia Training is going to stay in, mostly because I love the trample that it adds. We're going to add Bronze Head Line. It itself is not an enchantment. However, um, for one white and one green, it gains indestructible until end of turn. Uh, when it dies, it becomes an aura, or an enchantment, <laughs> so to speak, uh, that enchanted creature gains in struggle. So basically, it conveys its ability over to, let's say, our champion, for example. Hydra's Ghost still here just because I think it's hysterical. There's only two copies of it, but I just do still think it's, it's absolutely funny. And, of course, the champion being our big heavy hitter. And this is kind of your win condition, in, oh, eh, sort of your win condition in the end. Uh, a 1-3 with cost, you know, Constellation, and whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on it and draw a card. Land base is super easy. One Castle Ardenvel just because we can cast out creatures that we can block with in the late game if we need it. Seven planes, six forests, four temple gardens, and four temples of plenty. So let's move on to play some games. I don't know that I would necessarily consider this one competitive or not. And again, I think we're still really early um, in the th uh, Theros Beyond Death meta. So let's just play open play for now. Um and see how it does. Uh, if you like the video and like the deck, by all means, like and subscribe. Always helps out the channel. When I last checked, we're creeping ever so closely to 800, which is super close to my goal of 1,000. Once I get there, I'll be happy. So, uh, and again, if you'd like to see more videos like this or have a way that you would like to improve this video, or improve this deck, rather, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, see how you built your Selesnia enchantment deck. I'd like to see it. Oh my goodness, this has taken a while. Hmm. Come on, you can do it. Oh, I should probably mention at this point, I hate doing it. There is a Patreon if you are so interested. I never really mention it. It is at the end of the video for those of you that stick around to the end. It's there. If you're cool enough that you like the stuff that I'm producing, you want to send me a buck, that's awesome. If not, no worries. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Would really have preferred not to have to pay two life, but let's do it anyway. And say hello. M-A-2-7-K-0. I'm sure that spells something out that I'm going to be completely oblivious to. Hmm. Well, there's the champion. And that's the land that we need. Perfect. Don't like the after idea. We have to continue to pay life for it, but it is what it is. This does make me wonder if we're looking at. I've been seeing a ton. Oh no, this is gonna be blue-white control. As I say, I've been seeing a ton 
of Simic Flash and Simic Ramp. That's still sticking around. But this blue white control deck is also out there. So we're going to go ahead and drop that. Uh, no, why not? I'll keep the land. That's fine. I want to really drop all the glitters that go, um, on the champion, so I want to kind of leave that. Oh, I meant to attack. That does give me the ability to say that creatures and enchantments, which is pretty much my enti entire deck, can't be countered. So <laughs> at least we'll have that going for us. Teferi! Hi, Teferi! How are you? He's going to bounce the spinner, probably. And then die. I never understand that. I never understand that. I get that he gets the draw card. I totally understand that thought process. I just... Ugh, I don't know. Alright, so now we're done with land. I do not need any more land. And let's get Teferi off the board. Like, you literally pay three, card, three mana to return something to my hand and draw a card. I guess it's ultimately in the end. I guess it's worth it. Cool. Guess it's a good thing I've got another. Yep, this is typical control for you. Doom foretold. Oh my goodness. Why do I get stuck with these decks? Oh. Why, oh why? I always get stuck with the decks that want to hurt me and kill me. It's not fun, I tell you. Ashiok. That's cool. So what am I going to get rid of? I feel like I need to get rid of the lion. Like the spinner is now going to be... <laughs> it's now going to be my uh, my gateway in here. The upside is I'm going to be able to put drop two all the glitters on here and basically take Ashiok out. Uh, let's do that, because I want to do this, and put that on her. I recognize I'm putting all my eggs in one basket. I genuinely get that. And then I can just slowly but surely start peeling off some of these enchantments. To doom foretold. But what's he going to do? He's not going to get rid of Ashiok, so he's going to get rid of Doom Foretold. Okay, so we're okay. Do wish the champion had that. Uh, let's exile that one. Yeah, I think we're just going to... Uh, he's got this game. This is not a fun game to necessarily show. Uh, maybe not the word fun game is not the correct. This is not a good game to show uh, what this deck is capable of doing. I'm never getting out of that hole at this point. That's a shame. Some decks are just better matched up. And like you need to recognize at that point. Like, yep, yeah, you know what? He's going to win this game. There's not much I can do at that point. Because every single thing I kick out, he's going to do it for told. It's going to die. It, you've all played that game. I don't, I don't want to play it. <laughs> it's not fun. I don't want to play that game right now. Interesting. Mono Red, you're my friend, Mono Red. I want to see what the 3-3 three sitting there down there is going to do. Uh, no, you can have that for now. My suspicion is he's got a shock and he's going to be like, ha ha, I got you. No, he's going to light up the stage. Can't believe this deck's still around. It is. 
Yep, there's the shock. So he literally wasted all of that. Because I'm just going to come down here and go, here, have a 3-3. Three, three. Which is a little bit bigger than normally you can handle. And since you just burned your shock, unless you have another, which would not surprise me in the slightest. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't want to do that. Alright, so now let's go... Hmm... Let's go with the life gain for now. And hold on to those, just in case. Oh, I'm so tempted, so tempted to go through... But we're going to keep our blessing on the backside here. Ooh, Cranko. This is a fun deck. Swing in. I'll gain that life, thank you. I'm actually gaining more life than he's actually passing out here. Yeah, we can probably drop the Temple Gardens. <sighs> Do I really want to dump that onto the Lion? Let's see what happens here. So we are going to send that one there and that one there. And we're good. Cool. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna pump Cranko quite a bit. I need my super big creatures, that's what I need. Yep, Cranko's gonna crank out a whole bunch of them. Ooh. All right, so now that is tempting. It is tempting to sit down and give that thing lifelink and trample. No, we're going to hold on. Because then the question becomes is how much damage can he really do to get through active treason? My goodness. Don't I get that back? I get that back. Don't worry. I uh, I'm going to hold off. Let him have that. Oh, I should have blocked at least one of the little guys. That's my fault. The lifelink was not what I was expecting. And then he's going to sacrifice it. Yep, Mono Red's going to win. Uh, not that blocking that one would have helped me out all that much. But it's interesting to me, the one game that we get the champions out, they just kept getting bounced or getting it removed. Oh, well. All right, let's get a couple more games in. couple more games. The interesting part, the reason why I built this deck is I played against another deck just like it. And I was like, oh, wow, that's such a cool idea. And even in my, again, I know I say it all the time, even in my warm-up, so I did really, really well with the decks in the warm-up. I'm like, all right, this is going to work. And then my first two games out of the gate, nope. <laughs> it happens. Seizure later. That's, that's a name. That, that, that's a name, all right. Sure. I do believe we're looking at a ramp deck here. Oh no, not this deck again. Oh no. The upside is I've got the combo sitting in my hand. This does look a little bit different. This looks like more Simic Ramp than anything else. 
Destiny Spinner, cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, I have a sneaking suspicion he's not gonna do that. So, let's see what he likes the most. Let's give Sentinel Eyes to the old champion. Watch him counter that. I don't know. So he does not have the mana. Perfect. So we're going to go with the training instead. Continue the draws. And swing in. And then we'll hold that for our hexproof in case he decides to do something to it. Because here it comes. You ready? Nice save. <laughs> it did exactly what it was supposed to. I knew I was holding on to that for a reason. Yeah, that would have gotten really ugly really quick. <laughs> it can happen. It works out well sometimes. Ooh, what do we get? What do we get? Ooh, it's a rare. What do we get? Ooh, Bolus of Citadel. I thought I had a place out of that. I must be wrong. All right. That was a good way. That would have been a good place to stop. But it's a little short video, so let's go and get one more. Maybe we can even out the record here. All good things, sure. Yeah, no, this works out just fine. And we shall say hello. Go for the lion, go for the champion, go for all the glitters. Ooh, healer's hawk. This might be a mono white life game deck. I was going to say, I can't imagine he's going to want to kill that. So this is the point in time where I get screwed and I don't get any mana. Because I desperately need mana to come out of that deck. Grateful Apparition. Ooh, this just might be Mono White Flyers. Nope. Hmm. Okie dokie. I can go with... I desperately want to put those on there. I'm going to go with another lion. I was debating putting all the glitters on both on my um, life's bounty, but... Eh. This is a proliferate deck. This should be interesting. Very interesting. Yep, he's getting a ton of... So the only concern we have here, um, no, I've got enough bronze hide lions, thank you. Uh, let's drop season of growth. I want to wait until the champion comes down. Can't imagine he's going to let her die. There we go. Dawn of Hope. Good deck, good deck. So the trick, of course, is we need to be out able to outpace him. Which it looks like we're going to be able to do just fine. Another All the Glitters works for me. Again, I assume he's just going to take that. We are keeping pace. This is close. I have a feeling that, yeah, I was going to say, I'm waiting for Helio to come down. Whenever Helio comes down, we are going to be having some problems. No, I'm good for the moment. Because I know where this is going to go, and I do not want to ruin it.
Let's drop that down. Let's drop that down. Let's drop that down. And we'll hold on the rest. Yes, that did just happen. <laughs> and he's going to take it. Okay. Now, my intention now is if he if he swings in with uh, Leiden now, I will just go ahead and kill her and then make that another enchantment on him. He's debating now. Interesting. Yeah, no, don't do that. That's a bad thing to do. Okay. He's looking for Heliod right now. This is so close. Yep, no, I'm going to block here. I don't know that he sees what he just did. Okie dokie. So how do we want to handle this? Let's drop all the glitters down here. Let's drop the destiny spinner. Sure. And let's swing in. Yeah, no, I think that's going to do it. Which one's he going to block? He'll block the 2020 here, and then he's still dead. Yep, no, I think we got this one. Really cool. What a great game. Life game deck that we were able to keep up with. Oh, don't tie me out. Don't time out now across 90. Come on. Yeah, you block the 2020 here, or 2022 here, and you still lose. That's why I like, was really confused by the attack. Like, he needed those creatures to be able to block. The only thing that I can think of is he thinks maybe he can pull off something. <laughs> but he's decided to just take it all for the win. Good game. Ah, that was so much fun. So that's going to do it. We've evened the record with two good victories towards the end. That's how the deck's really supposed to function. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, always helps out the channel. And in the meantime, guys, we shall see you in the arena. This video was brought to you in no small part by our patrons. If you would like to help out the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga. And thank you for your support.